guys welcome back to my channel so today today we are going to do something a bit different on my channel um we are going to look at one two three four five of uh, my go-to products um that i use um, and we are going to look at the last three ingredients um, and see if they are harm harmful now um, I wanted to do five ingredients from each product but I don't want this video to be too long so we are going to do the last three um, ingredients of all of my yeah you can say my faves um i'm nervous because i just don't <laughs> um, i love these products and i just i just want the outcome of this video to be positive i will be researching the rest of the ingredients um by myself um so if there are any other dangerous ingredients in my products i will put it somewhere on the screen so you guys can know that as well but yeah just for now we're going to do three ingredients so let go so I will be typing the names of the ingredients on the website of cosmeticsinfo.org a very trusted um, website to research ingredients so the first product that we are going to be looking at is my one of my faves um, my lot of body setting lotion it's a bit bright but yeah so this is my lot of body setting lotion I love love this product always use it when I do um, my flexi rod sets um, also when I do my semi sleek buns love this product sometimes I just randomly use it because it smells so good you guys like if you know if you own this product you know <laughs> but okay let's get into this so the the last three products are Let's see. Phenocentinol. Phenocentinol. <laughs> you guys are probably gonna laugh at me with all of these pronunciations, but this is phenocentinol. Let's let's type that in, shall we? So, okay, so I typed in Phil. What's it called? Phenocent. Phenocentinol into National Cancer Institute on their website. And it says that they can find that ingredient. So I'm going to skip that and go to the next ingredient, which is. Meet the lies, so the blah 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 blah. Okay, so also couldn't find the next product, so the next one that I typed in is called Coumarin, and it says that Coumarin is a substance used to make drugs that prevent and treat blood clots in blood vessels and treat certain hair con heart conditions. Coumarin. Okay. So it's a substance used to make drugs that prevent and treat blood clots in blood vessels. Okay, so that's actually a really good thing. Um, it's actually a substance that is used to prevent bad things 
from entering your blood vessels so that's really good let's go to the next one which is CL42090 blue number one I guess that's what makes um, this blue color so what I'm what I'm seeing is that it's quite hard to find certain um, ingredients on one side so I just randomly chose another ingredient and I did find that and it's called linolin Lanolin. La Lanolin, okay. Lanolin is an oily substance taken from sheep's wool. Lanolin is used in moisturizing creams and lotions to treat dry, itchy skin. Lanolin can be used by certain cancers or cancer treatment. Okay, so let's read that again. It's an oily substance taken from sheets, sheep's wool. Lanolin is used in moisturizing creams and lotions to treat dry, itchy skin. Okay. That doesn't sound too bad, but I will definitely be looking more into Lanolin because I'm still I'm still a little iffy about that definition, but it seems like a good ingredient. So yeah, that is it for the lot of body. Again, I will be checking all the other ingredients, doing more in-depth research on my own. But yeah, it looks like it's a pretty safe um, product to use. Um, from the definitions that I could find, didn't read anything bad. So let's get to the next product. So the next product that I chose is my styling pudding. So bright, you guys can't see it. Okay, anyways, my styling pudding from Healing Oil. Love this for buns um, mainly. I don't really use this for like twist stouts and stuff, but I use this. I would rather use use this than a gel. Um, I also don't own any gel. I stopped using Eco Styler years ago so i don't i don't really oh no i'm lying i do own the gorilla snot gel actually i should check the ingredients from the gorilla snot gel because i hear so many bad things about it <laughs> but yeah love this i i always use this when i want a gel like consistency for my hair okay so let, let's look at the last three ingredients benzoic acid sorbic acid and menta offenses let's see if I can find these ingredients here if you can hear people talking in the back please don't mind that it's my family but yeah, I am back on the cosmeticsinfo.org um, website because I couldn't find anything of um, based on the ingredients in here. And um, they say benzoic acid um, and sodium benzoate on its list of direct food sub substances are affirmed as generally no, are um, affirmed as generally hmm. 
Okay. The FD, FDA, the Food and Drug Administration, includes benzoic acid and sodium benzoate on its list of direct food substances affirmed as generally recognized as safe um, um, they are approved as, synth as synthetic agents for direct addition to food so benzoic acid is safe and that is good news Let's see, sorbic acid. What I love about the um, cosmeticsinfo.org website is that it immediately can tell you if a product is safe or not. So, um, yeah, I don't really have to like, I can still look at the definitions of the ingredients, but I like that I can it, um, directly know if it's safe. So, for sorbic acid, the FDA reviewed the safety of sorbic acid and potassium sorbate determined that they were generally recognized as safe. So, sorbic acid is also safe. The last one is menta offenses. Menta Offenses probably has another name and they don't, um, yeah, I can't find it on here. So, I'll just choose another ingredient. It also contains um, sorbitol, so let's see. Sorbitol. Let's see if you can find that. The FDA includes sorbitol on the list of direct food substances, substances affirmed as generally recognized as safe. Good. So all of the ingredients that I could find are safe. So also think that this product is safe to use, which is really good because I love this and um, that's just really good news to me. If you've been following my channel for a while, then you know that I live for the VO5 um, moisture milks, moisturizing conditioner, especially this, this strawberry one, like I love it. Um, when I wash my hair, I usually go for either this or African black soap. I just I love this product like can't live without it so I hope these um, ingredients are safe let's check the last three ingredients are um, ascorbic acid biotin which I already know is pretty good for the hair and red 33. Okay, so I couldn't find ascorbic acid, but I did find niacinamide. Cinnamide, I don't know, which is also called vitamin B3. And it says FDA includes niacinamide and niacin on its list of direct food substances affirmed as generally recognized as safe. Ooh, ooh. Okay, next. The Food and Drug Administration reviewed the safety of biotin and determined, and determined that it was generally safe, recognized as safe as a dietary supplement. So, biotin is also safe. That is good news, um, which I already knew because, yeah. Biotin is very good for your um, body. And then the red 33 is which something that's kind of making me nervous because usually the, the when they add like colors to products, um, the 
colors are very not safe so let's see <sighs> I'm nervous um, FDA has reviewed the safety of red 33 and approved it approved is its use in cosmetics and personal care products with exception of products intended for the use in the area of the eye okay so red 33 is only safe um, anywhere besides your eyes so okay that's good to know it is good to know but yeah I guess based on the last three products that I could find this is also a pretty safe product to use again I will do my own research in-depth research of all the ingredients let's get to the next one now you guys know that this product is my baby this is what I use to moisturize my hair what I use to do my twist out you know um, ooh, what is that? Yeah, but you guys know that I live for this shade of Honey Love Hair Milk. Don't mind the bottle, you guys, but I'm almost, I'm almost done. You guys can't really see it because it's so bright. Wait, let me turn this down. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, I'm almost out of this, and the bottle is just. It's crying, but you guys know I love this product. It's so moisturizing, so good for the hair. Like love it. Let's look at the products. Let's let's look at the ingredients here. So I see it also contains benzoic acid, <clears throat> and from what we've already seen, benzoic acid is safe to use. So I'm not going to check that out, and it's used as a preservative in this product here it also contains sodium glu gluconate. gluconate let's check that out shall we so the FDA includes glucon mm -hmm. Cal calcium gluconate, copper gluconate, ferrous gluconate and magnesium gluconate on its list of direct food substances affirmed as generally recognized as safe so that's good the next thing is oh it also contains coumarin which we've already seen is also very safe for um, consumption let's see what else we can look at um, Serrit, Ceterit 20, let's look at that. Ceterit ingredients has been assessed by the Cosmetic Ingredient Review and, eval and has evaluated that Ceterit 20, um, so basically Ceterit has like so many types of like different types you have saturate 2, saturate 20, saturate 100 and I see that saturate 20 is safe to use so that's good and then I also see dimethicone which sounds sounds really bad but let's see um, I don't like I don't like the sound of dimethicone. I just don't I don't scientific experts and authorities around the world have extensively reviewed dimethicone and found it safe for use in cosmetic applications. Okay, the FDA approved its use as skin protectant in over the counter drug products. Dimethicone is also an FDA approved food additive anti-foaming anti agent. Okay, so the name is very scary but it's actually safe to use so that's good. 
Um, so yeah, again, based on the uh, ingredients that I found, this baby right here, this baby right here seems safe to use. So yes, let's go to the last product. I was going to check out this um, Not Your Mother's Beat the Heat Thermal Shield Spray but I'm more interested in the Gorilla Snot Gel now that I think about it so I'm going to do that instead. Okay, so I have my Snot Gel here. Um, the first one that I want to check out is Hydrox hydroxyl cellulose let's check that out because that sounds very suspicious um, the FDA includes hydrox with blah 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 as additives allowed to be directly added to food so if it's safe to add to food then it's and it's safe to use in other products I guess let's see okay so this is this one is also safe um, I see that with this one they had like a lot of there's a lot written here so I had to Okay, well, yeah, there you go. So there's a lot written, so I had to like screen everything, but yeah. Um, that's also a, another safe ingredient. So this is interesting. Um, I'm looking at triet, triethanolamine, you guys, I'm sorry. But um, it says the FDA includes triethanolamine. Diethanolamine and ethanolamine on its list of allowed indirect food additives. These ingredients may be used in adhesives in contact with food and to assist in the washing or peeling of fruits and vegetables. Interesting. The safety of triethylamine has been assessed on several occasions by the U.S. Cosmetic Ingredient Review. Okay, so it should not exceed 5% in use. So if it exceeds 5%, then it is dangerous for your health. Okay, I knew, I just knew there had to be something in here that was dangerous, or could be dangerous, but, um, yeah, I will be looking more into this, but, yeah, it's, as long as it doesn't uh, exceed the 5%, it's safe to use. And let's look at the last ingredient. Let's take one of the colors. Um, it has yellow 10, yellow 6, and green 8. Let's take yellow 10. The FDA has reviewed the safety of yellow 10 and yellow 10 lake, determined that these ingredients may be safely used for coloring cosmetics and personal care products, including products intended to be used on the lips. Okay. These ingredients not permitted for use in products intending for use in the area of the eye. Okay, so this is just the same with um, like red 33. You you can use it um, in other areas of your body except for your eyes, close to your eyes. Yellow then is also permitted to be used as a color in drugs. Okay. I'm learning a lot during this research. Okay, interesting. So, I could go on all night doing this research, but I don't want to bore you guys. 
Um, so yeah, I am going to do my own research. I will be leaving the link to the cosmetics um, info.org website in the description box below. So you guys at home can check the safety of the products that you use, um, that you cons uh, consume, cons consume, consume, whatever. And um, yeah, I hope you guys found this video interesting. I learned a lot. I will definitely learn. Will be. I will. Uh, I will definitely be learning more as time comes. And um, yeah, it was really interesting to see. Um, as you can see, sometimes you have to like look at more, more websites, more than just one website because there's other information that maybe you can find on one website so I also tried to link um, some other websites that you guys can use but yeah this was very interesting I hope you guys enjoyed it um, please check out my last video here please subscribe here on my face and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys